Hi, my name is Fein Sacrosaint, and today I'm going to talk about routing multiple audio outputs into an audio interface with Roland R8. One of the many benefits of the Roland R8 is the possibility to assign each individual sound to one of the eight outputs that are on the backside of this drum machine. This way you have a lot more flexibility when it comes down to recording a complete drum track into a DAW and it gives you the possibility to record individual instruments on separate tracks and have them recorded in one single recording session instead of recording each individual instrument by itself. Recording sounds from a drum machine with classic stereo outputs can be a time-consuming process. With the 8 individual outputs on the Roland R8, it all can be done in one go. Now, as you can see in my setup, I've routed all of the 8 outputs into my audio interface by using an XLR patch bay. The reason why I'm using a patch bay like this one is because I do not have a TRS patch bay, but it can be done with both. This interface has 8 audio inputs, 2 on the front and 6 on the back side, so, make, so to make life more easy it is better that you use a patch bay as well. You also need to make sure that the software that comes with your audio interface is set up correctly. For this I suggest you read the owner's manual of your audio interface, as this can be different depending on what brand and type you use in your studio. Now let's have a look at the Roland's menu and see how you need to route every individual sound to a specific output. Under the edit section on the R8 you see a button called sound. There is also the pad bank option, which allows you to select each individual bank and have those sounds or instruments assigned to each of its own outputs. So you need to be aware on which bank you are at the moment you start assigning instruments to outputs. Let's select the kick drum of bank A and route this instrument to the first output. To do this press the sound button and then select the first option which is edit and press the corresponding number on the digit section to go into sound edit mode. There we need to select which instrument we want to assign by pressing the correct path on the right side of the R8, which in this example will be the kick drum. As you can see in the menu, the pitch option is selected. If you want to change it to the output, we need to press the parameter select button a few times until we reach the correct option. Now we are in the correct mode, but the kick drum is still assigned to the classic stereo outputs. If we want it to be routed to the first output, we need to press the on button until we reach multi 1 on the screen. When you have selected multi 1, the sound of the kick will be hearable on channel number one of our audio interface. Now let's do the same thing with the snare, but this time we will route it to the second output, which is multi 2. We simply stay in the same menu and select the snare by pressing the snare path on the R8. And as you can see, it is still routed to the classic outputs. So we need to press the on button a few times again until we reach the multi 2 output in the menu.
and here we are. Once you have selected the desired output, there's nothing more left to do. You can go back to pattern mode to start programming a drum track, or you can continue assigning all of the instruments to their own outputs. You can select each individual output and even have different instruments assigned to just only one. This way you are able to assign all of the hi-hats, the pedal and the cymbals to one output and have those recorded in a single track in your DAW. So this concludes this tutorial on how to route each instrument to its own individual output. I hope this video is helpful in some way and that it contributes to your workflow with your Roland R8. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. If you do not want to miss a thing and want to stay updated on future videos, hit the notification bell below. I also will try to answer all of your questions, so feel free to leave a reply in the comment section. In the meantime, keep on grinding, keep making music and do what you love to do. My name is Fein Sacrosanct and see you next time.